Welcome students. The previous videos uh, we learnt the 46th question and 47th question. Both uh, are of 10 marks. And now let us move to the next 10 mark question. 48th question. So, the 48th question they will ask you to find out different price indexes and quantity indexes okay if you just know the formulas for calculating the price indexes you can find out easily the quantity index so here in this question 48th question just see here for the following data find last year's price index number Pashe's quantity index number and value index number okay students here the data given it is uh, the table items or commodity a b c d 2009 price and quantity 2010 price and quantity 2009 means it is base year price and quantity they have given that is p naught and q naught small p naught and small q naught and 2010 it is current year price and quantity they are given it is small p1 and small q1 so so let us proceed to find out the first write down the table for this uh, particular question and once we write the table we will proceed to find out different index numbers here in this question they have asked only three index numbers last year's price index number passes quantity index number and value index number but i will explain here all the different price index numbers how to calculate all the different price index numbers and quantity index numbers passes quantity index numbers how to calculate i will explain at the end of the solutions so once you know how to calculate all the price index numbers you can easily calculate you can write easily the formula for quantity index numbers and you can calculate okay students so let is uh, let us proceed uh, to find out the write that write down the table okay students okay students here uh, we are calculating your last year's passes marshall edgeworth dorbish bowles Fisher's price index and value index at the end passes quantity index number. Okay. So that table what you are seeing here, the same table you have done already in the 47th question to calculate uh, Fisher's index number and uh, prove TRT and FRT. Okay, students, same type of table you have to do here. The first four columns they have already given item, small p naught that is base year price small q naught that is current year base year quantity small p1 that is current year price and small q1 that is current year quantity so now just find out the products in the order i told just in the in this order you have to calculate p1 q naught p naught q naught p1 q1 and p naught q1 in that order you find out the products okay so find out the products and once you find out the products, add those products and find out the summations. Okay. Then once you find out, do this table. Okay. Once you do this table, we will proceed to find out the different index numbers one by one. So here, in this particular question, in the question paper, they have asked only three index numbers. But I am showing here to calculate all the price index numbers and one quantity index number okay and then let us proceed first let us proceed to calculate last year's price index number so the formula is p01 l is equal to summation p1 q naught divided by summation p naught q naught into 100 so that is equal to 240 divided by 177 into 100 that gives us 135.59 minus 100 that is that becomes 35.59 increase you can write the conclusion the price is increased by 35.59 percent in the 
current year over base year then next is passes price index number it is uh, p01 p is equal to summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 into 100 so the values are there it is 276 by 229 into 100 that is that gives us on 20.52 so less 100 gives us 20.52 in percentage increase so at to write the price is increased by 20.52 percent in the current year over base year that is what the conclusion you have to write next move to the formula marshall edwards price index p01 me is equal to write the numerator of the last peers see there last peers formula numerator is summation p1 q0 that you write your plus again numerator of the passes see here summation p1 q1 so summation p1 q0 plus summation p1 q1 divided by again denominators of last peer that is summation p0 q0 that you write plus denominator of passes price index number p0 q1 okay so into 100 so now substitute the values 240 plus 276 divided by 177 plus 229 add it into 100 that, that is uh, add it 516 that by divided by 406 into 100 divide 516 by 406 you'll get some decimal point you multiply with 100 you'll get 127.09 so when you subtract 100 you'll get 27.09 percent increase you write conclusion the price is increased by 27.09 percent in the current year over base year okay students so let us proceed further to calculate the remaining price index numbers so next is darby's goal is price index number so here it is very easy the easy method i am showing here if they ask you to find out darby's bole or fisher's price index number this is one of the easiest method just calculate last year's price index and passes price index and add both divided by two you will get darby's bole's index number so that is a formula okay so easy method P01 DB is equal to P01 L plus P01 P divided by 2. So substitute the values divided by 2, you will get 128.05. So subtract 100, you will get 28.05. That is a percentage increase. You have to write the conclusion the price is increased by 28.05% in the current year over base year. Same way, Fisher's price index number also. Once you calculate last year and price passes, you can easily calculate Fisher's price index number. P01F is equal to root of P01L into P01P. That is equal to 135.59 into 128.52. That is equal to root of 16341.3068. That is equal to 127.83. Subtract 100, you will get 27.83. Therefore, the price is increased by 27.83% in the current year over base year. So, next, let us move to the calculate value index number. V01 is equal to summation P1 Q1 divided by summation P0 Q0 into 100 that is equal to 276 divided by 177 into 100. So that gives us 155.93. So subtract 100 you will get 55.93. Here you have to write the value is increased by 55.93% in the current year over base year. Okay. So, all the different price index numbers you have calculated and also value index number are shown how to calculate. So, they have asked you to find out passes quantity index number. Any quantity index number if they give, you know, once you know the price index number formula, just write on the price index number and just change it to quantity index number. See, they have asked you to find out passes quantity index number here. Write on the price index number passes price index p01 p is equal to summation p1 q1 divided by summation p0 q1 into 100 so just convert it to quantities passes quantity index number where and all small p is there change it replace it by small q and where and all small q is there replace it by small p so now see there in the passes price index number the numerator is summation p1 q1 that in this quantity Passes quantity price index number, you just change it. Summation Q1 P1. 
again in the again Pasteur's price index number it is in the denominator it is summation p naught q1 and in this quantity Pasteur's quantity index number in the denominator you just change it summation in the place of p naught you write q naught in the in the place of q1 write p1 so summation q0 p1 into 100 so substitute the values calculate will get 115 now you are you have to write the quantity is increased by 15 percent in the current year over base year okay students thank you students practice well learn it perfectly okay students bye